Breaking news is very shocking and alarming when brothers, instead of supporting one another, castigate, pull down, and ensure that the other one does not have opportunity to stand and to be, you know, to be able to stand on their own. This man we're talking about, Woko, he's from the east, and um, what he could say about Peter Obi is quite alarming says the former governor of Anambra state with all the popularity and um, the support is getting all across cannot be Nigerian's president that the man would be best suited as a minister and minister of finance when Atiku wins hmm. now so my people now the matter will be the here be this you see him he's from the southeast so that should be cheering his brothers and his brother and supporting and you know I mean when you look at the southeast look at uh, Senator Kalu the guy said even if he does not win APC ticket, he will not support Peter Obi. What about the governor of a boy state? David Umayi. He said uh, his support or a boy gov uh, a, a boy state uh, vote is for is for Tinubu. These are supposed to be those supporting him. It will shock you. May we get all the details though? Peter Obi, former Nambra state governor, will be best suited as a minister, says Nedi Woko. Peter Obi seemed to be on the lips of majority of those who engage in political discussion in Nigeria at the moment. Ned Woko, People Democratic Party for Delta North Sanitarial District, has joined the conversation. The husband of the Nollywood actress, Regina Daniels, believes Obi is not ready to be Nigeria's next president and feel it's too early for him. He should serve in ministerial position, then maybe come back and contest, he says. The business mogul and politician Ned Woko has stated that the presidential flag bearer of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, lacks the structure required to lead Nigeria. Woko praised the former Anambra state governor, his work, his business, spearhead of how things can possibly be, but noted that politics is a different ball game and Nigerian politics particular needs more. Peter Obi is a good man and has impressed me. Personally, when I hear of his achievements and what he's doing, I think he's worth it, but he needs a few years. Can you imagine? Hey, Nigeria, these are the cover, right? Let's continue. Now, so, hmm. they don't want freshness, so they just want the same thing over and over again. Hmm. When he came to London, he came alone. He is a capitalist, a big time player in the business world and, con and conservative in how he handles things. I like him. I like him very much. Back in PDP, he will do well. Back, back in PDP, he will do well as the Minister of the Economy and Finance and he will help us turn Nigeria around economically. I will advise that he be patient. Labour Party does not have the structure to win, but they have a super and a support base. They have a popular candidate that has brought the party to limelight all of a sudden. Yes, Peter Obi is that man, but cannot be president because he does not have the structure. As a president, you must have the majority of Labour Party in the House of Representatives and Senate. Many things in Nigeria work against the emergence of president under the Labour Party, and it won't happen, I can assure you. But let him wait. He can, when when Atiku wins, he can become he can become a minister and that will prepare him if he wants to go back for the presidency. This is what his brother said. I say his brother because um, he's from the Igbo speaking part of uh, Delta State. Okay, so that's why I addressed him as his brother. And so waiting this man feel or waiting the talk to say Peter will be never ready. So it is what it is, you see. Uh, different opinions, different uh, ideas, everybody seeing things differently. Some say Peter will be is ready, some say he's not ready. You know, everybody different opinion, different perspectives. You see, different opinion, different perspectives. So, I mean, which one do we take? Which one do we pick and choose? However it is, so my wonderful people, it is important that we begin to look at things critically, make up our minds to vote. Let's not uh, mind people who are, who are placing, debating on who should and who shouldn't. Eh? If you feel, if you feel that this candidate is ready, my dear, go ahead and vote that person.
If you feel that candidate is ready, please go ahead and vote such an individual. If Peter Obi is your choice, vote for him. But you cannot vote for him without a PVC, can you? No. So go and get yours ready. Yes, go get your own PVC ready. Make sure that you vote for that candidate that you feel can bring change to Nigeria. The change we are talking about has been a long time coming. The same words every time, but things have still been the way they are. Look at our road, a dead trap. What about the hospitals? No good facilities. Imagine, uh, which they call him, Abu Salim. The guy is sick. Now London, they carry and go. Now stroke he get to. Now I understand it's your choice wherever you get your healthcare if you can afford it why not if not but the truth of the matter is create an avenue for nigerians give an equal opportunity for those in the country who may want to you know have their health care here and they don't have to go elsewhere in the world create that avenue create that opportunity that you know you going abroad should not mind you should not be anybody's business in the sense that you can it's a choice it's a choice you decided to make, not because, not because um, you know there were no options. It's a choice you decided to make, you know, because you had the money. But again, in Nigeria, there are also equal and you know equal hospitals that could potentially provide the same level of care. That's what we are talking about. Create the enabling environment for the people. The same enabling environment. Don't put Nigerians in tight corners and then you, you are going to look after your, yourself. It's called selfishness in the highest order. But that's what our uh, you know, politicians display. And nobody particularly is calling them out to say, this thing you're doing, this choice you have made is wrong. And you, first of all, your core duty is to serve. Okay, is to provide leadership and direction for the people who has given you opportunity to be a leader. You know, you know those those uh, those options you have to give to the people you have to ensure that the people have you know opportunities to make their choices and in respective of how you feel okay they, they can make that choice and they can they can be happy with it you see a labor party all of a sudden i mean i never really paid attention to labor party until peter will be joined you know, even PDP has had to confess to say Peter will be left. They never realized the, the, the value of the kind of person they had in their camp until he left. He would have been a very fantastic instrument. I mean, one that could have brought a lot of popularity and, you know, support for their party. But they, made, they missed a good opportunity. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.